I'm not I'm not about to go reach down for for an ankle lock, you know, on some Kurt Angle, you know what I'm saying? And I get hit in the chin with with a stiffy. Yeah, it's not happening. We got Baki in the building. Why is this meat swinging on my screen to start the yo, yo listen, listen. Can we get a better, a different uh, I'm not going to say better. Can we get a different intro than this? Start off meat swinging in a in the jail shower. Look, we can do this the hard way, or we can do this the easy way. Because I like you, and I want you. Whatever the booty warrior said. <laughs> TG5 with a donut. A whole bunch of turbulence. Thank you, for the, Thank you for the two. It's time. Let's get to squabbling. Is this you serious? <laughs> okay, let me just put my pants on. Nah, keep the pants off. I want you butt booty naked, nigga. I'm trying to see your meat swank. <laughs> Yo, if I'm naked and somebody's still willing to fight me, I'm quitting. Cause me pers I'm not fighting no man with his meat out. Alright? If I if you ever see me approach you to square with me and you don't want the smoke, I'm not even gonna tell you to drop your jaws cause cause that's pause. But I'm not fighting no man with their meat out. It's not hey, listen, you're gonna have to pull those up. Hey, go get you some pants, big fella, and hop back in this ring. That's what we going with. <laughs> If you have seen literally any one of my videos, you already know I am one twisted ass nigga. But there is nothing more twisted than some of these fights in box. You got niggas getting their head squashed like melons. Niggas getting their faces ripped off and tossed at the fucking crowd. You even got niggas bootied up with vast amounts of turbulence. But today, we finna start with the... Bucky's walking with a shorty on quite literally the most middle school date I've ever seen. Like, bro, they're holding hands and both of them are just looking at their toes like, wow, the, the pavement sure looks beautiful today. <laughs> Man, Duke Dennis, please possess this nigga. I'm gonna go practice my ribs again, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> anyway, so while he's tonguing her down in the middle of the fucking park, this fucking goober is standing there about to cock block the hell out of him. You better choose your next move <laughs> wisely, nigga. I'm getting some cheeks tonight, and it could either be hers or yours. So he chose violence, but just before he chops, W Man Tanayama comes in and takes his ass away. I want you in my booty. And things of that nature now. So now it's Hanayama versus this overgrown Malteser headed ass nigga. First, and he's just listening to him waffle oh, about. Yeah. Ah! Gave that man a taste of his foot fungus. Obviously, Hanayama's not letting that just slide. So he starts taking off his drip. That nigga said, fuck this thousand dollar suit. And just goes ahead and reveals his absolutely teased body. God damn. There's no way his dick isn't tiny. This man has this bad ass what? tattoo on his back that runs in that his family. He got his done and was like, hey, this shit's whack. Then left and violated an entire Yakuza clan by himself. <laughs> Put this nigga's head in the wall and was like, I painted it with the blood of my victims. It's finished. I ain't even trying to meet right. This man is bad ass. However, this man did not give a fuck. Hold on, they're not the Javinci. Now we just stiff farm dudes yeah. nogging like a quarterback and push. He didn't even kick him with the with the with the the chocolates on. That boy pulled it off and smacked him with it. Ten yards into a fucking light pole. Then with the IQ of Patrick Starr, this nigga goes and grabs a goddamn park bench and slams it over this nigga's head. How do you go help him? Bitch, we are side characters. Hell no. <laughs> Hanayama been salad this whole ass who been caked up on a Thursday evening, and their combined turbulence caused the Statue of Liberty to crumble. Anyway, so Spec starts prepping up his ultimate attack, which is really just this nigga spamming a bunch of punches like a dumbass. This thing is trash. Gang hit him with a bootied up right hook. Team Rockets blasting off again. Booty He's still trying to recover from that shit, breathing in and out like, <gasps> but he looks up and this man is just standing there, Surprise, menacingly. Malteser had looked at dude and saw holiness, then got hit with that. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> Never try to cock block my homie again. Bro, I'ma steal his bitch. <laughs> No, you're not, nigga. You're Devin, you did not come into the stream in here. I want to see no meat swing. I said I don't want to see no meat swinging, all right? Come on. you. Do, does that sound like something I would say? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ruko, I just love Mr. Clean. <laughs> you still talking? <laughs> you, you haven't seen the Riz commercial? Let me clean your booty, baby.
Oh, hell no, man. What? Gotcha. And he blows this man's mouth up. This nigga's whole body is sizzling like some chicken that just came out the microwave. <laughs> mouth is literally blown. Hey, hey. Mouth up. This chat. After after the 50K stream? This nigga's whole body is sizzling. This me. Sizzling like some chicken that just came this, out the This me right here. Microwave. Mouth is right after the stream. It's literally blown <laughs> wide open. And he says, you still want smoke? Special. Grabs no this way, man, man and punches his ass into the power line. <laughs> He then grabs this nigga's corpse and passes him off to the police. And you would think that's where the ass whooping would end, but nah. Mr. Clean wanted the fate so bad, he absolutely folded every fucking officer oh my God. into this nigga's car and flipped it. And we're not gonna ignore the beautiful origami he did with that man's neck. That's some skill right there. I just want y'all to pray to the YouTube gods for me because this is some of the most brutal shit I've ever seen. So he crawls out the car. And, oh my goodness. Now, f that. I need this video monetized. We're going full Disney in this bitch. Okay, so after Mr. Clean introduced Mr. Steel Pipe to Hanayama several times, I may add, Henny Bear wanted him to meet Papa Closed Fist. But oh, is that Uncle Gun? Well, I guess it's nerf or nothing. <laughs> Am I right, guys? So now he's taking a little nap. And you see, kids, eight hours of rest is crucial for a healthy lifestyle. Hey, don't disturb his nap. That's rude. Oh, fun. Even more nerf. Oh, man. Mr. Foot is so silly. All right, I can't keep bushing. He is stomping this man out. So then he tries to put this nigga on live leak, but the bullet just goes through this nigga's jaw. So then Himiyama just ignores his severely broken neck and several bullet holes and just starts beating the absolute fuck out of this nigga. But that nigga's spec is not out just yet. Peekaboo. Throwing flashbang. And he gets the opportunity to put this demon to sleep on some Charles Dubrock shit. But this nigga is built different. Just grabs him and rips up a chunk of his arm. Then takes a finger to the noggin but he is literally hemi turner so he just straight up snatches this nigga's jugular and gives us a battle cry see this is what i mean chat i told y'all this yesterday if i'm this strong i'm doing this at the beginning of the fight i am not taking no chance and taking no damage okay y'all know the video games like final fantasy you got to get your limit i'm getting straight to that spamming it that's it if I got the haymaker right, I'm going straight to that. I'm not doing no jabs, no hooks, no nothing, okay? If I could rip your throat out, I'm going to rip it out. And we're going to end the fight right there. Man, my dick is hard. All right, so some nigga was causing trouble in Lego City. So they called in this absolute groin, Mr. Oliva. He pulls up, and he didn't even bother to change fits. Nigga walked in dressed like he was about to go praise the Lord Jesus this fine evening. Anyways, once he's in, he finds this nigga that looks like someone just did an arts and crafts project on his face. I hope you remember me. I was pressing a homeless man for five bucks when you tapped my shoulder asking for directions. Oh, I took one look at you and knew what you were. But then you went and broke every bone in my body. But I hung on. I hated your blood. I beg your pardon. Ooh, your ass so much. And ever since then, I've been plotting. And now it's time for my get back. I need you to run me my $5, boy. I need <laughs> retribution. <laughs> you ain't getting shit, little nigga. Except this BB fucking C. See, I'm running. I'm not, boy, listen. I get ready to box somebody. I don't care. Boy, they take their drawers off. I'm out of there. What, what I'm a, boy, I'm not. I'm not about to go reach down for for an ankle lock, you know, on some Kurt Angle, you know what I'm saying? And I get hit in the chin with with a stiffy. It's not happening. It's not happening. <laughs> Holy shit. Is that a snake, nigga? Damn. <laughs> you gotta find out. No! And he starts spamming him with shotgun blast. But this man just eats it and is like, you thought that would work? Huh? <laughs> My meat is bigger than that shotgun, buddy. So then Unk pulls out a katana, tries to slice him, gets weaved, tries again, and this nigga doesn't even bother trying to dodge it. He just lets his 40-inch pegs tank the katana. What? It's it's stuck. No. Black lives matter, bitch. And he sends this nigga flying out the building with one punch. When they found dude on the concrete, he had a <laughs> dent in his chest like young boy. <laughs> All right, so this Russian nigga, whatever his name is, spent all his screen time getting folded. Got beat up by Baki like four times. Once while he was about to get freaky with his shorty. Another while he was butt booty naked meat swinging area. Did you see the arch? Where? And the most embarrassing of all, when Baki reached post not clarity ultra instinct and fucked both of these old heads up. But that's gonna have to wait till part two. So after he got embarrassed by Baki, he was walking through the city, contemplating his life, when all of a sudden he gets stopped by Jack 
fucking Hanma. The literal walking steroid. Mm, where can I beat yeah. your ass? I think I know a spot. They go to some random bathroom, and this man is not wasting no time. He swings immediately. We've kicked. Yeah. Nigga, you is not Peter Parker. Let go of the sprinkler, bro. He tries to kick Jack in the dome, but he just grabs his fist. Really, nigga? And starts yanking on him. Damn it, bitch. <laughs> I said let go. Facts. <laughs> Babe, next time you gotta be more gentle with the strap on. Move, nigga. Who, who the what fuck the are you? What? Honey? Babe, I think I'm cooked. Yo, Why are they doing this innocent NPC like this, bro? Nigga just wants to go home. They and start the straight phone, boxing in this tight ass box. Niggas throwing elbows, spamming devious knees until Jack gets tired of eating all these attacks and sends a warning punch that made this man shit himself and run away. Oh, you're not leaving <laughs> this box, bro. Shuriken! They fully destroyed the telephone box and the random dude is still in there. I want my mommy. <laughs> but these dudes must have NPC dialogue volume on mute because they are getting right back to it. Jack yeah, so sent this man to sleep, walked out like he just took the it's fattest shit in right. existence, and had these FBI agent motherfuckers take his ass to a gladiator arena, and he was just waiting for him like, shall we continue? Is that nigga still in the box? Alright, so Jack obviously continues to whoop this nigga's ass. <laughs> Fuck, Putin. It's Canada in this hoe. Oh my god, this nigga's gonna kill me. Get your ass back in the ring. This dude really tried stabbing him with a stick. This is not Naruto, bro. That shit is not working here. Then he tries tossing a nail at him, and this man just catches it in his mouth, starts chewing the shit like it was some fucking hubba bubba gum, and spits it out completely mangled. What the hell kind of steroids is this nigga on? Man, this nigga ain't shit. Send in little bro. Then Buddy with a do-rag taps in to finish off the ass whooping. Oh, yeah, this dude is I'm one good ass nigga. He uses teeth and nails in the sand right, too. He, he say he's weird. That's, that is not me, all right? Blast his opponents. Dude started playing with the sand like a toddler. Had nigga bugging out like, where is he? Where is he? Sick of blood. <laughs> Got your nose, little nigga. Literally just toying with him and Putin's like, why don't you fight me like real man? Why'd I fight you like a real man when you're a whole ass bitch? <laughs> I am not gonna lie, this man is going out sad right now. I'm gonna attack you every 10 seconds. Bye. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. One. We can Five. talk about this, brother. Four. We can talk about this. Listen, please. No, sir. Five. Just take it. Three. I'm sorry. Two. You win. You win. And he just keeps going until Unc calls the match off. It's time, y'all. The live Q&A is happening right now on Twitch. Fuck the outro. Come ask me your questions right now. Peace. Yeah. Hey, man. Listen, 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 listen. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> that boy was a, a mixologist. All right? All of them. Except them people who is receiving the Joey Daddies. All right? They, they're done. Get them boys up out of here. Like I said, man, you pull your meat out during me, with me during the fight, you won. <laughs> I don't want no smoke.